Hey guys, Alex from Online Tarot with a new pick a card reading, and today we're going to learn when when will you meet with your love interest again and will you reunite? So we have four piles. We have pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. You can choose by a number, you can pause, meditate, you can use a pendulum or uh, use by a stone I have here. For pile number one, we have beautiful moonstone egg. My phone doesn't want to focus on it. For pile number two, we have red jasper. For pile number three, we have amethyst. I have several stones. I put them all together for their energy. And for pile number four, we have cultit. So, just the usual reminder before I start. This is a general reading. I cannot tell you when you ask me in comments, like I can't tell you how it will play out in your life personally. I can't do that from a general reading. Only you can tell if it's resonating with your life or not. You can see if it's about you and them and so on and so forth. So please remember to be uh, to use your mind, clear mind to see if it's working for you or not. So. If it's not resonating with you, it's just not your message, guys. Check out other videos, maybe your message is there. Check out other readers, we have a lot of amazing YouTube readers, maybe your message is out there. So these four options do not cover all possible options. Sometimes messages come through for you, sometimes not for you, it's okay. So please don't get triggered or angry if it's not your reading. And. Um, if it resonates, I would really love if you hit the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more, let me know in the comments what you think. And if you are in need of a private reading, the information how to get one with me will be down below in the description box. But please mind that I'm leaving for a vacation uh, starting 13th of September till 23rd of September. I will be not available for private readings. You can send me uh, an email, you can book a reading with me but I will be able to do them only after the 23rd of September or before the 13th of September if you do it now so um, and I will have extended readings for uh, these four piles if you choose to follow me there that will be wonderful the link will be down below in the description box this time I will not forget to update the website. Sorry about the last time. So we are starting with the pile number one. So hi those who chose group number one, pile number one. Let's see what we have for you. This beautiful moonstone. Okay. So the general energy for your reading is the knight of cups or the zoro cat and it's saying that the situation has been unjust and now the justice is being restored by, by you or by um, the other party so let's see you have the knight of cups you have the emperor three of wands and the hermit card so will you reunite when will you see each other again First of all, what I'm getting is you are you are in this energy of the emperor and you are really looking forward to have this this person uh, have this love offer from the person you're asking about. It's like you are at the point of your life when you have everything except this love. And this is someone you've been thinking about. You're thinking about your past. You are looking um, inside of you, like trying to find the answer. Why it didn't work out. What was wrong. Um, and you are searching. It's like you, you are asking yourself, will your future be, be good enough for you without them or not? You are trying to find the the reasons to move forward without this person, but you can't. For some reason, you can't. So that's why you keep thinking and waiting for this offer to come, right? So let's see more. So there is definitely some history between you and this person. Uh, 
some of you were together and you broke up some of you didn't come together but you keep thinking and thinking about this possibility okay and you I think that whatever happened between two of you we have the nine of Pentacles and nine of swords um, though you went to start a new life kind of you are on your own you are building um, your career you are focused there so you are doing you you are um, focusing on your goals this person and the situation this connection is still bugging you bugging you a lot and with this uh, nine of wands and the ace of swords I'm getting a picture right you you really wish for this person to show up like on a horse wielding this sword and cut all the obstacles cut all the mist like the moon energy the unknown the doubts away and bring you the uh the answer the answer you're looking forward for the answer to get some answer from them you do feel connected you've been really manifesting them you've been focusing on yourself but at the same time you've been manifesting them you are afraid that they moved on completely and you definitely want a new beginning a new but different totally new not just a second chance with the same outcome but a new new beginning so let's see when will you meet again Will you meet again? Hmm, another temperance card. Another nine of swords. I'm getting, yes, they will. They at, at the moment, they are still trying to fight this connection. See, with this nine of swords, they're running away from the connection. As if it's something scary you are trying to manifest this connection because you accepted it they are still fighting it but with this king of wands here again and the ace of swords I am getting a new new beginning they will keep fighting this connection for a while with the strength card and two temperances we have a connection here it's a definite connection but they are not ready yet they will come with this Zoro cat here they will come to restore the balance but we have three nines 999 nine, nine, and the world card is like the cycle is almost over but it's not the ace of swords yet not in the ace of swords energy it's still in the nine energy still fighting though they know it's time to to end this cycle um off to september give me a second so most probably they are going to reach out to you most probably in i'm getting mistletoe here most probably in the christmas time so seven weeks after september seven weeks after september they will reach out not you will reach out they will reach out you you don't need to reach out they're not ready yet And uh, though they're still fighting this connection, it's undeniable. Maybe that, that is what's scaring them because the, the strength of this connection is scary. You will have the opportunity for a new beginning. Approximately at about seven weeks after September, guys. And uh, let's see. I'm going to take this one to the extended to see more about this situation if you choose to follow me there um that's great if not i still hope i gave you some information mm -hmm. too
think about. And we are moving to the pile number two. So for pile number two, let's see what we have there. <laughs> wow. So pile number two. So with, uh, with pile number two, we have James Bond here. And this is the page of swords. And uh, it's a general energy which says like, stay cool. Keep your dry wit to yourself and your coolness and attractiveness will will do the thing, will do the, the, the work. You don't need to do anything else. And we have the Eight of Wands right away, the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely. Definitely um, you will meet again. And the person is... Um, is getting ready to bring you a gift I'm getting it's it's a it's like they're preparing they're preparing to send you an offer again you don't need to reach out to them they are going to reach out to you I know that with this knight of Pentacles it um, it's been taking time and a lot a lot of time and you're tired of waiting but this person is coming undeniably let's see more King of Swords. You are... I'm getting those who chose pile number two. The energies can be swapped, of course, but I think it's mostly your energy. You are keeping it cool. With the King of Swords. Um, you are being a bit... Not in denial, but you're not... You want them to come. But you still haven't forgave something. I haven't forgotten something so you're waiting for them to come but not mm, you are not fully ready uh, to accept them or maybe you need to them to come with an apology with a real big one well it, it will be different for different situations but this person is definitely coming and coming very actively at you with a lot of communication in this king of and this knight of wands energy and it will be suddenly it will be out of the blue there will be no like you know premonitions no dreams nothing like bam they are talking and they are talking and uh, even though you are being a bit protective over yourself you will be happy you will be really happy to get this message because you've been waiting you've been waiting for sure Let's see a bit more and I will try to get the time frame. King of Swords, Eight of Wands again. Yeah, you are being very cool. You're keeping it cool. King of Swords and King of Swords again and the James Bond here. And uh, Okay, they did break your heart before, right? They did broke your heart. They did break, sorry. And uh, them coming at you and offering you um, new growth for this situation will be a reminder how bad it was. But at the same time, it's like you, you are a perfect couple. Look here. We have the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you are, a bit, uh, you, you, you are not looking in the same direction yet. But you are those who are being clear. You may be a bit sarcastic, a bit sharp with your tongue, quick-witted. But you can't lie to each other. King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Like, you can maybe trick others with your wit. But um, you can't do it with each other. And you are coming together. Yeah, this heartbreak is, um, for some of you, it's the third party. Standing between two of you. But I'm getting that this person is um, going to go through these obstacles. Through They want to get through to you. They want to get through to you. The star card. The knight of cups. And again, another king of swords. And another three, of, three and three. Well, guys, you... This person will come back. and But this is interesting. But you being in this King of Swords energy. 
a lot like being not really trusting not really open but you're waiting for them whatever you say to other people you're waiting for them to come and they're coming it's like your dream you wish for this so badly so this is making you protect yourself even more because you know how much you want it want this ace of cups and this person is coming and offering you love again and you will though you are mistrusting i think that they will get through to you and you will get together so yeah for you my answer is you will uh, meet and reunite though after some battle as for when let's see let's see the star card we have 17 the tower and we have three 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 by the way we have three times three which is making nine give me one second I'm really drawn to this tar card so it may be on the 17th on the 17th of which also December it may be within three weeks or three months so by the end of this year maybe for some of you it will be on the number um, 17th but this person is reaching out well this is beautiful i hope you enjoyed the reading if you choose to follow me to the extended the link will be down below if not i hope you have your hope so guys and we are moving to the pile number three for those who chose pile number three with these beautiful amethysts let's see let's see more what's happening for you guys well we have the hierophant or a merlin cat in this deck and it says play by your rules create your own rules and play by them and this is what you need right now and we also have the two of pentacles ten of cups and the four of pentacles so i feel like you are being indecisive you are being a bit indecisive about what you really want on the, one, on the one hand, you want happiness and, you know, like, public celebration of your ha happiness, maybe a, a wedding or, like, you want everyone to see how happy you are. But at the same time, with this Four of Pentacles, mm, you are hiding behind the walls. You are not... I'm sorry, but you're not doing anything for, for this to happen. You want it, but you want it to come on its own. Let's see more. Well, sometimes we can't do anything in a situation, right? So it's like this. But you want it, this happiness to come in your life. Ace of Wands. You definitely want the new passion, new desire. And your wish to come to be granted I'm getting to be granted to you some of you are single parents and yeah we have ace of wands and ace of cups mm, you definitely want it and I'm getting it's coming with the nine of cups it's coming guys your wish is coming here a lot of a lot of energy here and for some of you you are single parents and though um, being a parent is making you happy, you want your personal cup of love, you know, your personal happiness. Hmm. And I'm getting that it's coming again. Another two of pentacles. Five of wands. And ten of wands. So I'm getting that for, for you it's difficult to juggle um, your personal life and your maybe it's your commitments or your child or something like this. Um, something is making you questioning whether you want this personal happiness. Maybe you don't have enough time. Maybe you're already too busy or something like this. 
but you have this love with this empress and the queen of cups you are very loving very giving and you wanting for some reason if you are not a single parent there's something else that's making you question if you deserve your personal happiness even wow that's intense guys with the ten of wands and it's been happening for a while now like again another hierophant the world card so let's see more five of cups five and five again chariot so this person you're asking about is coming i feel like it's coming and i think that you feel like it's coming too with the nine of cups uh with the chariot with the world card and the ace of cups again so it's coming though you are being conflicted if you deserve it it's coming maybe you already met somebody and you're thinking if you should um step up the game go to the next level you're not sure about this not about the person you are not sure that you deserve it you're not sure that you have a right to it you're not sure that it's worth it there are different different doubts because it's a group reading but we have Hierophant and Hierophant and the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups and the Empress, guys, and the World and the Chariot. A lot of major corners, a lot of Aces. It's the new, new beginning for you. New chapter of your life. A big one. So stop fighting because this person is coming and when, let me get, we have two fives. 11 no we have two fives and two fives a lot of fives here and aces so someone might be coming within five weeks five months or or in, um on the 5th of october november of um, on the 5th i can't say which month again it's a group reading but maybe five weeks five months or on the fifth of the following month this person is coming to you he or she is coming or for some of you this person is around you but you are getting ready to move forward with them to to take it to the next level you know and it's a deep connection ace of wands and ace of cups it's a deep connection guys okay so thank you for watching i'm going to take this one to the extended well all the piles to the extended if you choose to follow me there that would be lovely if not i do hope you have something to look forward to already and uh we are moving to the pile number four with the citrine sorry not citrine of course it's calcite i'm mixing up the name again and again sorry about that so let's see what you have pile number four we have six of swords hmm, nine of wands eight of pentacles and five of pentacles so the six of swords in this deck has a special meaning this is cat columbus and this card says that the sea can be stormy but all it takes is a determination to find the right way to find your uh, new lands so something to be explored here so let's see more about your situation we have nine of wands eight of pentacles and five of pentacles hmm. so what's happening here guys you definitely have some history with the person you're asking about and you've been really working hard to uh, get over what happened, get over the uh, the breakup, because you are not together for sure. Though you have um, you have this person on your mind a lot. You have this person on your mind a lot. And again, the energy of five again. You, you love this person. You still love this person a lot. And you wanted them to be your, 
your partner, your spouse, and you had a very painful and sudden separation. And you're still wondering, will you be together in the future? Because you really miss them. You're trying to move forward, but it's a struggle. It's a struggle. So let's see. Will you meet each other again? Will you meet each other again? When will you meet each other again? Will you reunite? Five again. Five. You feel very lonely without them. Oh, whatever happened was really painful they're not giving any information about whether this person is coming or not because your pain is very strong we have 555 five, five again and 10 of swords and the tower and whatever happened was really really painful it, it hurt your ego a lot it's like you're still questioning your worth after what happened okay and with this two of swords you haven't seen them heard about them whatever it is you have no information what the hell is happening with them okay so will you meet again will you reunite we have the six of swords and the judgment the judgment and the moon and the two of wands and the fool hmm Guys, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing only you. I'm not seeing them in the picture at all. You are missing them. It's painful. For some of you, it's raw. It's fresh. It just happened recently. You love them a lot. You have a lot of love for them. And you're questioning really if, if your love is enough, if you are, is, you are enough. You haven't seen it coming. You haven't seen it coming. You have the judgment, the moon, but it's like a very painful wake-up call from your illusions. I, I'm getting that they were never really there for you. They were never really there for you. And you're starting a new life for yourself. I'm sorry, but I'm not seeing them coming back. You're questioning your future. You're hurting. You most probably will be angry at me right now. Because people don't like to hear these things. But guys, false hopes kill time. Kill years of your life that you cannot get back. If it's not your person, the, the lesson is to let go. The lesson is to let go. The most painful lessons are the most important. I keep saying and keep saying, keep saying it, please. If you know that it's not your person, or if this person played a real bad number on you because your situation what you are going through is very painful most probably you've been betrayed suddenly unexpectedly in there were lies and deceit here deception with the moon card and the tower card and the nine this nine of wands and the ten of pentacles and five 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 here again another tower energy here and you really loved them you cared for them and you gave them all but what you got you got pain I don't think this is the best thing is to wait for this person to come back. Don't give them power over your life. Don't give don't don't spend time hoping and wait, waiting for someone who's who made you question yourself. Seriously, you have an opportunity for a new life. Take your lesson. And find the, the power within you to move forward. I do know what I'm speaking about. I do feel your pain. I do know what you're going through. I've been there too. But guys, please don't get stuck with f false hopes. Don't don't tell yourself this is was this was the one. Uh, he or she will come back. We will make it work. Sometimes when we put labels. It means that we uh, have coexisted with the person. We merged with this person. We lost ourselves in this connection. And it's time to rediscover yourself. It's time to establish the most important relationship in your life. The relationship with yourself. It's time to start anew. Because remember, the universe reflects 
our uh, our attitude towards souls to us through other people through our relationships through our connections so you just need to change your attitude it's not simple it's not just it takes years but you have a choice whether to spend years waiting for this person to come and torture yourself or you will spend years building yourself up not other people but yourself what do you choose because you have an opportunity of a new life it's a wake-up call for you wake up from your illusions guys I was very stubborn. I have a, I had a lot of the illusions and I was very stubborn. I didn't want to let go. And the more stubborn you are, the more painful lessons you get. And I think that you guys, those who chose power number four, you are <laughs> very stubborn like me. So I know the pain. I know the struggle. But it's up to you to choose who you are, where you're going, what kind of life you're living. And if you are waiting painfully, for something that will never come and if it will come it won't make you happy if this happened what i'm seeing here this person is not your happiness i'm sorry and uh i will take it to the extent to see maybe to i will pull some advice for you Paul number four if you choose to follow me there uh if not i do wish you all the best hold on there the life it's like they say the night is darkest before the sunrise and i totally agree with it so uh love and light sending you hugs thanks for watching i hope to see you soon with my other videos bye guys